Welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. We're going to go ahead and start unlocking another milestone and get some al get some of uh boop. Get this milestone unlocked and get some aluminum casings manufactured using the alternate recipe, Alclad casings. And for that, here we can probably do this a little bit easier this way. Oh, I gotta get. I remember we can go here and get this information from right there. There we go. So uh, base recipe, boom, 90 aluminum ingots produces 60 aluminum casings. Very straightforward, three to two. But we're here to use alternate recipes. So we're going to do this one. 150 aluminum ingots, 75 copper ingots, producing 112.5 per minute of aluminum casings. That is a little bit over 3 to 2, 3 to 2 point, uh, where's my math, 3.28? No, 3.3 to 2 point, uh, oh my gosh, what is it, what's an eighth? Uh, 0.125 something like that it's a little bit better but it's going to be producing a hell of a lot more coming out of it and this one the base recipe takes a constructor and of course this one takes assembler with the two inputs so we're going to get that now i could unlock it because we've got some of uh, this aluminum casings in our uh, dimensional depots that I found when I was running around, but nope, we're gonna have to get it up and running first before we unlock it, and then we can get the hazmat suit built, iodine filters, plus three inventory slots, and finally go after my death crate. There it is up there at top. But an update of what's been happening here. This has been working great. Oop, let's speed it up, there we go. All of this pumping it out. We're using all 720 aluminum ingots coming in here. But I let this thing run for a while and I'm like, well, what the hell's going on? The aluminum ing 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 yeah. the aluminum ingots, we're not getting down here into this uh, bottom third. I'm like, well, what the hell? So I started retracing the steps. It's like, okay, that's a Mark V. That's a Mark V. All right, what's going on? What's going on? Oh crap, that was a Mark IV conveyor lift. So I switched it to a five. Uh, and sure enough, started pumping the hell out of them. So, whew, disaster averted. <laughs> it is going hog wild. And you can see the gap every now and then from on a 780 belt compared to 720 ingots or uh, alkaline aluminum sheets that we're pumping out. And uh, yeah, let's see, that one's, that one's getting there. There it is, just piling it on in. Now, thinking about this too, uh, when it comes time to replacing the belts, we're gonna need a second dimensional depot right there. So, I will go ahead and put that in there, and hopefully it does not drain more than, well, we got two, four, six, wait, one, two, three, four, five containers at a time when I'm out replacing belts, so there. Yes, that will work. So that way it's two belts, two belts, two belts, and double belt, double belt, double belt. Okay. And did this one already fill up with it? Yes, it did. Okay, boom. Now I'll have a throughput of 480 per minute. Um, I hope that works. If not, uh, I could always just set up a third or a fourth uh, dimensional depot. Now, as I was over here, we needed copper. And I've been kind of poking around for some. Nope, not that one. Not that one either. Oh, was I closer in my searching? Yes, I was. Okay. Oop, let's do this. Uh, do I have ammo? Yes. 1,000 ammo. Nobelisk. <gasps> Where did Nobelisks go? Okay, I should have some here. Okay, we'll take 50. Thank you. There we go. All right, weapon in hand, we need copper. But I'm going to first extend this out. 
because we're gonna have to belt it on over here and I was thinking about joining the copper back over there on that highway bringing it underneath and then popping it up but I'm like no 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 eventually we're gonna have to have the river of product up there on the top so figured okay let's just extend this on out and we will get some of it going. Oh, and as I was wondering, as I was running around here, right there. Um, I forgot totally about this sulfur, and I've got uh, I think it's four mine port. Oh, sorry, sorry about the movement. Four portable miners on there, or five, something like that. Totally forgot about them there. And also, I've got two <laughs> miners over there on iron nodes that haven't even been uh, connected to. So we've got iron coming out of the wazoo. All right, now I don't want to extend this out into the abyss. And on a side note, my very first time playing this game, I came over here and extended the factory out over into this abyss. <laughs> Instead of keeping it over the ground, I said, never again am I going to do that. And okay, so let's go. Whoa, 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 maybe not that far. Holy Toledo, Batman. Okay, um, you wanna? Yeah, oh, hey, little guy, how are you doing? Uh, I don't know, let's go out about there. You know what? That's going to work. And it looks like we'll even miss that power pole. And we could always set it up later. Oh, come on. But the reason we're coming out here is I believe it's right there. A copper node. Yes. Uh, actually, right there ish. Oh, so. Oh, it might be down there. Okay. I was thinking it was up there. Okay. We'll get it. We're not quite over it yet. Now, um, you know what? I don't even know if we can, can we get rid of these things? I know we can blow them up, but can we get rid of them with a chainsaw? Yes, we can. Hot damn. Okay. Deforestization on its way. I've got my weapon ready because uh, I'm going to assume we've got some baddies coming out here. All right, let's, uh, you know what, let's just go up a little bit further, and then we'll head on over that way. You know what, this, this looks good. Yeah, we'll go, eh, what the hell, right there, boom. Oh, and I'm, I'm really enjoying how quickly this fills up. Okay, if you watch... Okay, even though we're only going to use 20 iron plates, it's almost like instantaneously, boom, they're in. And I believe I have three set up dimensional depots um, for building that stuff in. And I think I've got the three also for the concrete. Oh, is that a Mercer Sphere? Sorry. Yes, it is. Oh. And yes, I've been collecting, as a, collecting them again as I come across them. And I'm afraid of the baddies out there. Or our friends that wish to dance, and I don't want to dance right now. Okay, so where's the copper? Oh, is that it right there? Yes, it is. There it is. Okay, let's get our butts over there. We'll claim it. Or I don't even know what the purity is on it. Okay, here we go. Um, or any friends want to say hi? <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. All right, now, we'll take this, we'll lock it in there. Ooh, okay, so we won't lock it in there. How about right here? Okay, the question is, can we put a miner on there and will it work? No. Oh, oh, oh. I thought I saw it snap. Yes, it did. There. Oh, yeah. How how are our miners doing that we set up in the previous episode? All right. Slowly filling up. All right. So we'll take this. 
bring it over and take your butt right there and we've got that and we'll do one more right there okay and if we put no not you a splitter well actually no we wouldn't have to we could just put it right there in the center of this one okay so let's go on up and we'll get ourselves lined up with which one we're gonna put the uh, floor hole through Okay, it does look like this one, so we'll put it right to smack dab in the center. And there we go. Boom. My Mark V belt's coming out. Okay. Oh, it's a pure node. Oh, hot damn. Oh, oh, oh okay. Two things, we'll send you on up and we'll get some power shards. Now the question is, how much do we dare do? 600, yeah, I agree, 600. Let's get 600 copper out of this. And we'll put your butts back in there. And if we do this and we'll go right here And then if we take this bad boy and let's get you right in the center because that's where the lift is. So if we do this, can I point at it too from here? Yeah, and let's, uh, no, we got to go this way. Oh, right there. Hot diggity doggity. 300 copper, oh. Okay, and we've got that. We can then have to take that one on up. And I hope that it reaches all the way up there. We will find out here in a moment. Like, let's clear out those two. And most likely we're going to be, we might be grabbing more resources from that direction. So let's put you right here. No, we got you over here on this side. There we go. How's that looking? All right, that I can live with. Okay, there, we got this. I will run the belt and the power over there. So I will see everybody in two seconds. All right, got the 600 copper ore per minute. And uh, the only change that I made is instead of that lift coming right up in the center, I put it right there on the outside just to leave room for the next uh, belt of ore or product or whatever we're going to have coming down. We're, we're, belts are going to be going everywhere. Um, I was thinking about using a blueprint that we already had and just change the recipes, but we've got copper coming in from this side. And we're going to have aluminum ore, I mean, aluminum ingots coming in from this side. Boom. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to do a little bit of a hybrid build and just uh, build it by hand. So with that in mind, we can tuck it up right up against here. And let's see, everything is lined up on that one. So let's start here. So if we have the copper coming in and you want to let me build from up here okay boom coming in from there and uh let's see we've got those guys coming in from over there so let's take uh an assembler first off and we'll put your butt you know what let's uh we'll put you about midway how about something like that and uh we want Alclad a casing, boom. Um, 150 aluminum ingots. In fact, er, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's see what we got. Uh, what are aluminum ingots going to be used in? Let's see here. Used in so far Alclad sheets, casings. Oh, we can make aluminum beams. Okay, aluminum rods. Oh. 
this could oh, 52.5 per minute this could be very interesting okay um i was going to use up all of it and use 600 of it and leave 120 over but uh, yeah um six times 112 let's see here six times 112 point uh five that's 675 aluminum casings. I have no idea how we're, we are going to need. So we're only going to plop down uh, two assemblers. And there. Uh, control C to copy. And we'll paste it. And double check. Yes, it did take it. Okay. So I think 225 aluminum uh, casings per minute. That's a damn good start. Okay, so let's, um, I'm really liking using the lifts. So let's just stay consistent. So if we've got them coming in from here, so we can go one, two, three. And then if we pop this lift here and we go here, there it is. And oh, we'll put that built in there. And We'll put this one in here. So, oh, sh shoot. I need copper ring. It's not copper ore. Okay. Well, this just changed. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Uh, oh, in fact, I probably should have left one of them up. <laughs> oh, if I can spell correctly. No, no, no. There, aluminum casings right there. Boom. Okay, so if we're going to have two machines, so we, we're going to need 150 copper ingots per minute. So that is five uh, smelters. Okay, let's throw in five smelters. And we could still do the same setup right here. We will, boom, there's one, two, three, four, and... Bum, 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 production smelters. Okay. So let's just get them right here ish. Four and the fifth one. And then we'll just leave room to expand it because uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to need more um, alum uh, copper ingots. So we'll put this in here. And we'll take your butt and get you connected. Let's see, 600. So that would be 12. Let's see, if we've got 600 coming in at 630. So that's 10. No, that's 20 smelters. Oh, my gosh. This is only a quarter of it. Okay. So let's take you. We'll put you in there. And I'm going to leave that sign right there just showing that it's 600 per minute coming in. And... Um, Let's do this. We'll take your butt, and you know what? We'll just go right here. Yeah. And we'll just do something like this. Just doing things a little bit differently. All right, that's looking good. Then we can take um, a power pole and if we click right on that one, and we can drop it right there on the seam, and then connect that up and keep the lines nice and straight. And we'll call this copper ingots. Copy that one. And we'll just go down and start pasting them and get them up and running. Okay. Now, the question is, with this grouping, do we take them down that way and loop both of them this direction for the, for the aluminum casings? Um, but we don't want to cut that off too prematurely. So, uh, wow. We could bring that first group of aluminum ingots come here jump it over this one so that way we can continue expanding this out that way 
or we could take smelters and throw them over here on this side and make it even smaller. Nope, nope. Let's do that. We'll leave room for expansion. So we'll bring the aluminum ingots over here. Boom, boom, boom. Come in this way. And we will have the mergers coming out this direction. In fact, we'll just go straight into it like this. Yes, that will work. And, um, yep, we'll do this. And again, just doing things differently out of how I normally build. So we will do this. Oh, maybe not make it too spaghetti with belts going all over the place. Okay, there, we got the, our 150 copper ingots. Now, if we take another splitter and put it right here, yeah, that will work. Yep, we'll do... Actually, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll set it up there. And then we'll take an assembler and drop your butt midway right there because i was like no no we got to put the assembler right up here against the edge right here so we'll move this over and no no we won't no we will not okay so that means we're going to have the aluminum also coming from that direction so let's put that in there that will go there okay then aluminum ingots coming from this direction one, two, three, and we'll get rid of those. And blammo. And how is that looking? Ooh, that's looking good. Okay. Al clad casings. Yes. And you know what we can do also? Oh, we could put another line and line it up with that or go on this side okay I, oh getting ahead of myself getting ahead of myself boom okay let's put your butt right next to it and we will do this again we'll leave a little bit of room for expansion so then we'll take this into here this to there and did i set you up no i didn't boom there we go and we'll take another one of these. We'll take this. Put your butt there. There we go. And just in case we have to expand this out a little bit, we'll take this and we'll drop it right Come on, come on, a little bit there. So then if we take, oh, not that one. How about this one? And we'll take a merger. And we'll take it off in that direction. And nope, that's right in the middle. So you know what? Let, let's put it right there on the seam. Yeah, we'll put the output right there on the seam. There it is. And we will still take this to there. And my favorite yes you know we'll go right here and nope uh organization a uh, dimensional depot Ooh, 26 mercer spheres left okay i i like how this was looking lined up like that and we'll send you off into there. Okay. Oh, we still gotta power this. Oops, a daisy. Go here. Copy this, and you are right in the middle. Okay, this should be an easy connection. And we'll take that. There. Oh, oh, crap. How are we doing on power? Okay, 17 one capacity max consumption 12 and we're still under 50 percent of the actual consumption okay ooh, ooh, okay gotta take a sip gotta relax 
I just want to get uh, to the next setup. I don't know if I'm going to go nuclear or go with a fuel power plant. Uh, if, if you would like, please put in your vote. Nuclear or fuel power plants. Um, because I will be going big with either one of them. Or maybe even both. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, but thank you. All right, let's go get this stuff. In fact, you know, let's bring this out here. All right, so if we want to keep this nice and tight, um, they'll be coming from that direction. Uh, we'll keep you in the middle, and we'll put you there. Oh, come on. Stay in there. There you go. And again, just to go up and over. Um, boom, boom, boom. We'll send your butt right there. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, okay, we'll do this. And we want it to reverse that direction. No, we don't. Oh, damn it. Okay, yeah, we want that over and then that down. And do we want it there? Yeah, we want it there. Because I was going to say, because if we come straight out of here we would go right next to that but this way um, we'll take them straight out through here okay and just for my sanity I always go to the center as much as possible of the foundation and um, yeah we'll keep it here in the center we'll, we'll leave some wiggle room so if we have to do another uh, circuit board setup layout thing of a jigger going on. Okay, so now we want this to come right next to these guys. All right, let's go get them. Oh, wait, wait a second. How much did we need? Of the aluminum ingots. 150. Oh, 300. Okay, so we'll have to snipe off of two lines. Okay. Oh, and this is going to pump this out real quick. <laughs> and next episode, we will get a hazmat suit and go and finally get my death crate that's been sitting there for a while okay so if we put your butts coming right through here no boom and uh, for reference um, let's do this we'll take you and you're gonna go right here all right so, uh, oh, make sure these are the ingots like I've done in the past. I have hooked them up to the wrong one. And that's another reason I kind of avoid putting a splitter and or merger there. Okay, merger going into here. Boom. That's there. That's 180. That's 360. And okay, so we're going to have 60 left over to work with. And let's connect this on up. And away it goes. All right. Boom. This thing is still going balls out. I love it. 3,800 in that one. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Comes across over here. Yep. Okay. That was working perfectly. And let's connect. Come on. Start up. Oh, crap. No power. Oh, wait, wait. What the hell? Oh, because I didn't connect that to that. Okay. I got worried. I thought I may have sent the wrong product, but nope. There it goes. Hot damn. 225 per minute. Can't even see him. Damn. Holy crap. Slow down there, big strappers. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do this. Um, we'll put a Mark II belt and a Mark II belt. So at least maybe we can see him come out there. That's much better. 
Because if they're producing 112.5 per minute, this is 112 belt. Oh my god, look at you guys go. Um, so we can do a Mark III on this one. There we go. <laughs> there, now we can see him a little bit better. Okay. Whew. Yeah, just to double check, uh, Mark III belts move 270 items per minute. We're putting out 225, and the Dimensional Depot is gobbling them up. Right there. Get it in there. Yes! Oh, got some alkyd sheets. Nice. Yeah. And the thing is, that too, with this one, I'm going to leave this as a Mark V belt. But, oh, it's only going to do 240, isn't it? You know what? No, we got the Mark V belts, damn it. And we've got more than enough <laughs> coming up in the stockpile. We'll leave it there at Mark V. Okay. At least we can see him here. That's looking awfully damn good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, next episode, we'll go and get my death crate and finally be done with it. In fact, let's do this. There it is. Oh, but I, hmm. You know, what was it? Uh, there we go. What if we change the time on this? Let's go, I don't know, something like 10? No, how about 1? Will that change the lighting? What about 2? How does that look? Different angle. You know what? Okay. There, we'll do this. Ah. Oh. Okay, 225 al clad or aluminum casings per minute. All right, thank you for joining me on this journey in Satisfactory. And as always, enjoy life and be safe. And drink the dew.